Hello everyone, it's JP here. Today we're going to do a video about how to sow succulent seeds. Now, today in the mail I just got some some seeds, a lot of seeds actually. Um, some are different. This one is a gift, I don't know what that is. Um, I also am not sure what that is. I think that's also a gift. But I got these ones for sure. We've got 10 ebony seeds. Um, another ebony, some more ebony seeds. So that's 20 ebony seeds. Um, we got some Romeos, which will, which I'm really excited for to get more of those. And here we have 30 Lowy seeds. And I've already sowed some Lowy seeds, and they turned out successful, so I can't wait to plant more of these. So yeah, let's get started. Alright, so first, some things you're going to want to need is a sifter. Something like this, where it has some small holes like that. Um, you're going to want your soil. Doesn't matter what kind, this is the kind I use. Um, you're going to want a little tray. This is some pre-made I already have. Um, and you're also going to want some sand, which looks like this. This is your sand. As you can tell, it's very, very, like, you know, grainy. So, yeah. Alright, now that you have your sifter, let me show you how to maybe do it real quick. You want to lay that in there just, you know, shake it until you get that fine, you're going to get this fine, fine um, soil. Once you do that, you're not going to want to have a bunch of large particles. So this is what, well, because the seeds can't, uh, you know, root through those larger particles, so you're going to want to, you know, mix that. Alright, so there's not really a ratio, you can just like kind of go based off what you mix. Um, you know, it's not, it doesn't really matter, so you can just mix a lot of sand if you want. So it's like that, kind of. Either way, it's going to be very fine, uh, a fine mix. Which I put in a lot more sand, and it's working out fine for me. This is what the mix looks like that I used, and I've gotten 100% success with germination, which I will show you at the end of the video. So yeah, you're gonna wanna do that until, you know, um, I personally like to use these two inch little pots to fill up uh, to fill or use for the seeds. Nothing too big because that's it's really not necessary. So yeah, something like that. Maybe a little less. You don't want it all the way to the top, so kind of like around there. And yeah. Uh, after this, you're going to want to kind of uh, bottom water it, which I will show you right now. Oh, all right, so you got your container of water, and what you want to do is get your little pot, stick it in there. So, what's going to happen is the drainage holes at the bottom are going to soak up the water, which in time, in a little bit actually, you will see. Oh, see, you see that? Oh, it's just turning dark. That's the water reaching the top. You want that to happen and so you can have a nice uh, wet surface to put your seeds on. Not You don't want to do that. I mean you can do it afterward if you want. So you can put your seeds on top and then bottom water like this. So that's all good. And now we can just uh, lay the seeds on these which I will do right now. Oh also if you want people also lay a fabric before putting the mix in. You can put a little fabric at the bottom so no uh, soil leaks out 
at the bottom, but I didn't do that. Uh, it's not a necessity. It's not a necessity. Uh, nothing really. I mean, if you want, you can. But yeah, it's fine. So let's get those seeds. Alrighty, time to choose which seeds. Um, I already have some Lowy seeds going, which I will show at the end. Mm, let's go with the ebony seeds. Oh, as you can see, the seeds are super tiny. Like, look at that. Compared to my finger, yes, they are supposed to look like this. All, I want to say all, the Chavaria seeds look like this. As you can see, the Lowy seeds, uh, let's see. Uh, yeah, okay. See those tiny specks? Those are the seeds. Uh, and up here too, those are the seeds. They are very small. They are supposed to look like that. If you receive anything... Okay, I'm going to list. Um, I'm going to give you the shop I purchased my seeds from. So you can go ahead and get yourself some. This is a very trustworthy shop. They have a really good uh, selection. And I'll also give a different... Uh, shops that you can go and purchase seeds from that are very uh um credible that are very credible all right so the, yeah most succulent seeds will look very small and that is very much normal and so yeah let's get going also what you want to do um you can like rip off the little label that they give if you want, and stick that on there so you know what you're planting. Uh, or if you don't do that, if you rip it, you can go ahead and like you know make your own, which is very recommended because you just want to know what you're um, growing. All right, got the packet open. We're just gonna make sure you. A good idea is to fold it like that, just so they all come coming out in a line. You can just shake it. Squeeze the bag a little bit. It's okay if they land next to each other. Um, they'll just grow more compact, which is okay. You don't they don't need to be separated unless that's something you want to do. Then you can get like a little you can uh, wet a little paintbrush and gently um, grab them onto the paintbrush and stick them where you want them. Uh, I'm gonna get the rest of these seeds out which I'm sure some most have gone in. You're not gonna be able to see them, so yeah. <laughs> and I'm gonna do this for the rest of these, and yeah, I'll show you uh, once you've done that. You're gonna wanna get um, like a saran wrap, or like, yeah, like a saran wrap, and uh, place it on top of this, with, and like secure it with a rubber band, so it's, okay, I'll show you. <laughs> All right, this took me a little longer. As you can see, the sun is going down. So, last thing you wanna do is get some of your sand, just a little bit, like sprinkle. Start sprinkling it over your mixture on top of the seeds in very light, very light amount. You don't even have to cover the entire thing, just, you know lightly sprinkle it on top so it can kind of anchor those seeds in and not let them go anywhere. The seeds will sprout through. I've done this and successfully I have multiple sprouts. So this does work. Um, so yeah. I hope you all have a good day or a good night. <laughs> and yeah, I can't wait to see most of these guys germinate and grow. And also for these, you don't you want to have them in an indirect sunny spot so they can still get light, like a like in a window sill where a south facing window sill where they get light through the window. Or you know, uh, yeah, that would work. And yeah, so they do need light. And something very important, you do not want this to dry out. So if you do see it dry out or Something to do, you can just um, every other day or every two days uh, bottom water it like I showed you earlier. That will be fine. You do not want to pour water on this or you will kill the seeds. Um, you can 
it can mist it from a distance. You can mist it, but you won't get the water all the way through. So bottom watering is, you know, the best way to do it so that this doesn't dry out. You do not want these to dry out or else the seeds will die. And am I forgetting something? I don't, oh yeah. Um, seeds do take different times to germinate. So mine took about, I think, either a week a week or something like that to germinate so it's not that long but you know if you do the steps that I just showed you you will get germination and again I will link the shop that I bought from they are I've gotten like 100% germination from them so I'm just gonna list those um, and yeah getting dark all right everyone these are the seeds that I've sown uh, a while back as you can see Sorry about that light. Look at all those sprouts. The seedlings. These two are lithops, I believe. Okay, yeah, this is lithops rubra. This is a lithops dora thing. That's something else I don't know the name of. These are the Lowy seeds. And so as you can see, this is how you keep the moisture inside. You want to have these saran wraps on until they start sprouting like this. Then you can take them off or else mold will begin to grow. So also this is where I have my little watering station. You just let them down and soak up the water. So yeah, these guys, as you can see, are still sprouting, but I want them to get a little bigger before I remove the plastic wrap. So this is a good thing. You want to keep this on all the time. These ones are also germinating, as you can see. These are the Lowies. These did take longer than the Lithops. Lithops don't take that long to germinate, but these are starting to, which is amazing. So I cannot wait to do it with these guys. Cannot wait. Also, it does take a long time for them to become a full-on plant. You do not want to move these at all, like whatsoever, until they become to look like what they actually are. Then you can transfer them if you want. If you don't, you can just leave them where they are. But at this stage, you do not want to move them or else they will die. They're very fragile. So yeah, do not touch them at all until they become an actual plant, like what they look like. So yeah, even at that, you don't have to remove them, but you can just leave them be. So yeah, hope you enjoyed. Goodbye.